It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul. It is Thursday, October the 25th. It's about a quarter to nine in the morning. I should have left for the airport already. Um, I'll be fine. It's a small airport. Um, but yeah, I'm heading to TwitchCon now. Last year for my GoPro, which I'm filming on, I actually forgot uh, an SD adapter, and so I was able to buy one at the Best Buy kiosk uh, here at the airport. And it's cool because I, it was very much similar to this one that I had to buy at the Best Buy kiosk here at the airport because I forgot an SD adapter at home. I gotta quit doing this. I can't afford to keep buying SD adapters. Welcome to Seattle. The next flight leaves in an hour, so I'm guessing we have about a half hour before we board, and then. Uh, it's a two-hour flight, and we'll be in San Jose, so I'm not expecting to be here long, but I just gotta figure out where I'm going. So we're in Seattle, and Delta overbooked the flight, so I'm not sure if we're going to actually make it to San Jose. I say we, because I'm here with two other people who stream on Twitch. So tell us your name and your Twitch handle, and... Hey, we'll I'm Jeff. Uh, stream handle Janoske. Usually stream Monster Hunter World and Maple Story 2 right now. Sweet. Hey, so you guys are all also Twitch, right? Yes. Yeah. There was a slight interruption. Go on. Hello, oh, I'm, uh, I'm Nikki, and my Twitch channel is DickusCon, twitch.tv slash DickusCon. I speedrun mainly the uh, N64 games like Banjo Kazooie and stuff. <gasps> I love Banjo Kazooie. It's my favorite game. Oh my god. Second in the world. Are you serious? Yeah, second <gasps> in the world. First in Canada. <laughs> This is Alex, and she works with Twitch Prime, which means I love her very much. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love Twitch Prime. I'm my new BFF. Hey, this is Echo. She is also here hoping to get on this flight. Yay! Uh, you're, uh, well, we know your name is Echo, but your Twitch handle and what you stream for the Mike Vlog. Okay, so uh, Twitch is Echo the Space Hippie. Link in the description. Uh, I stream my crafting, I stream playing video games, I've done some IRL stuff when I go on vacation, so a little bit of everything is usually pretty chill until I'm stuck on something that I can't do. <laughs> I was going to try and pick up my badge tonight, but the lineup was way too long. Anyways, I'm going to open my suitcase and see um, if anything survived or if anything exploded. Well, it's just after 8 o'clock now. And before I get too settled for the night, I should probably get some supper. I'm going to Jack in the Box. It's just on the next block. But across the street right there is a place called Cineholic. And they sell gourmet cinnamon rolls. Now my heart is torn. I couldn't decide, so I got both. Good morning. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. As you can see, beautiful sunny skies and a lot of reflection of the building across the way there, so I'm going slightly blind, so I'll make this quick. Badge pickup starts in like a couple minutes, so I'm going to go and get in line, and uh, we'll see how lucky I get with how fast the line moves, I guess. Turns out it's probably like 10 or 12 degrees out right now, so it's, it's cold in San Jose. I regret wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I'm here now with Googie. What's up? Link in the description. And Jay Doofus, who's from the Netherlands. Yo, yeah. Um, Googie is from... Uh, Rhode Island. Rhode, I Rhode Island. I've never met anybody from Rhode Island before. And this is your first time... In America. In America. Yeah. Sweet. How, how is it, other than... Um, I, I, I've had many culture shocks. This bottle size is just insane to me. You guys are nuts. I bought this yesterday at the airport. It's basically double the size our bottles are. And an Uber! We don't even have Uber everywhere. How big are your pizzas? How big are American pizzas? Um, about, about that big. Enough for enough for leftovers. Um, but if you're hungry, you can really just kind of power through the whole thing. Leftovers? That's enough for two meals. By the way, from the plane, your your country looks great. Thank you. You, you look way nicer from above when you know you're less intimidating. Thank you. Also, I've noticed you haven't said sorry once. Oh, sorry. I found Blockhow Gaming. <laughs> say, what, say, say what you just said again about, about your first year of streaming. Oh, the most amazing part about it has been that it's almost more a mission of self-discovery. You know, figuring out who you are, what kind of content you want to put out, what you want to do on your channel, than it is about just playing games and like throwing content out on the internet. I don't think he was in the video last year. My bad. But <laughs> I've been shouting him out a lot in the past year, so link in, links in the description. This is going on YouTube. So oh, hi YouTube! <laughs> I 
just ran into uh, Linda and Jesse from the web around the green screen I brought last year. They actually remembered me from last year, so that was kind of cool. So I got to make sure I swing by and see them at some point. So I just got my uh, my Twitch Prime sticker, the little crown sticker there. Uh, that little sticker having Twitch Prime gets me ten dollars off in this loot store, and there's stuff from last year that's on sale for ten bucks. Looking at the lineup for the merch store, the entrance is down there, and the lineup is all the way down here. So I don't think I'm going to be getting any merch this year. I'm here with Trintech. He's from New York. He came out here for TwitchCon. Um, I know you say his name is Trintech, but explain to, to my camera what you're streaming. I am a variety streamer. I stream all types of games: Street what? Fighter, first-person shooters, Nintendo games, uh, Black I Ops, every, everything except Does Fortnite. Lose that music? <laughs> Come check so, me out. I, I we have one. a ball. <laughs> this is my dude right here, man. <laughs> so, guess who I found? The lovely. And she's sober this time. Wow. This is how popular right, Unsung Verse is. We were walking, and these guys came up and recognized her. So, link in the description. But yeah, she's an amazing streamer. So, yeah. And she's not an alcoholic. Just. Just FYI. Just want to throw that. These are my new, my new best friends. Well, then they'll be my new best friends until I meet the next person. But anyways. I'm Prima Lassie. I stream puzzles and I am a great conversationalist and you'll love me. Thank you for <laughs> Now it's like, bam. I'm Captain Catboy. You see a, you know, whatever. I do retro titles. I do speed run every now and then. And I also like to sing around, you know, goof around. Uh, definitely worth having some fun. That's all Sweet, there you go. And, and, and that's, I don't have anything to wrap this up. <laughs> Clip. Moving on. We just walked past the booth for guest clothing, and RJ just had a realization. Oh my god. So I've been telling awful jokes for my entire life, because girls in high school, oh they would have guest sneakers with the G on the side, so I would just point to them and be like, oh, what does the G stand for? And then they would go, of course, guess. And I would be like, I don't know, what? And usually, there are some people who didn't get the joke right away and they would ask it again, which is even better. Because I'm like, no, no, I, I understand. It's okay. But, um, yeah. So I've been uh, pretty bad with jokes my entire life. <laughs> so this is one half of Overboard Gaming. Uh, tell us about what you stream and all that stuff. Well, we are two person cast. Raleigh, my co host, Dagwood, is over there talking to one of uh, we stream basically whatever we kind of feel like. So I'm streaming a uh, Soul, Soul Calibur character creation. Uh, okay, Pathfinder, Kingmaker. That's a smarter game. Uh, and also some. Oh, what the hell else did I play recently? Oh, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Together though, we stream some Ultimate Chicken Wars. It's a real game. Look up the name. It's really awesome. Uh, and also we did a, a, an entire playthrough of Baldur's Gate, which is kind of what made me want to play Pathfinder because it's kind of the modern version of Baldur's Gate. Right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So for that entertainment and more. That's board gaming. Woo! And this is my close personal friend, Parsley. Hi! Uh, what do you stream, Parsley? I stream variety right games such as RPGs, RPGs, uh, puzzle platformers, the occasional FPS stream game, of course. So. Anything that's interesting, Planet Streaming, Spyro, when it comes out November 13th or whatever it is. Yeah, so. Links in the description. This is W. Shan, links in the description. We met this guy on um, in the airport coming down when we were coming to Wichita last year. Last year I like was grilling with questions and all this stuff and he just answered my questions. It was super nice and kind so thank you. I just want to say shout out to you, you're awesome and thank you for everything and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Oh we did like the official like handshake on camera. Oh there we go. What kind of stuff do you stream? I stream terrible Indian horror games. I, I go through the dregs of Steam, like past all the hentai sliding puzzle games and stuff, and try to find things that look interesting and then play them on my channel. This stream is awesome, this community is awesome. If you want to just go, just don't, even if you don't want to, go check out his stream. I can even hold up my, look at that. It's an easy way to see the name. There you go. Ooh. These are my new best friends, so the most recent people I've met. So, uh, real name and or Twitch name, and just tell people what you play. Uh, my name is Tyler, I go by Hiltron, and I play Rainbow Six Siege. Mm -hmm. C, I'm Cap Kitty, that's my username. They're, they're Siege players, and if you've seen my, my, um, my highlights, you saw me kill a person in Siege one time. So... You're on the way. Uh, yeah. It starts with one. It starts with one. <laughs> So I decided to go and check out the party. I haven't gone to the party before. I figured I'd go check it out and see what it's like and then be old and come back and go to bed. So this is the party. I just uh, 
ran up the stairs. So I'm a little bit winded, but yeah, there's a stage and there's stuff going on all around everywhere. <laughs> look who I, that laugh We're in the back. background, oh. somebody we'll talk to in a moment. Uh, look who I found. I managed to come across somebody at, at the party, which is crazy. Also old and sober. And look who we found from last year. <laughs> look who it is. I told him I need more elephant jokes. It's, it's, and I thought she said elephant drugs. And either, Things got either, interesting from there. Either one is... I mean, either one. This is McTastic. Hello. This I is my vlog. Hello. Please say hi, vlog. Uh, and they're going to do this obstacle course. Will you hold my shoes? You know, RJ, you really gave a You really went really well tonight. Kind of come from behind, make sure you talk us through it. I gave my all out there. Um, I'm out of breath because I'm old. And I don't know if I can do that again, but I'm supposed to. <laughs> Here with us on Versa. Uh, disappointing, disappointing loss for you. Uh, coming in second place after leading for so much of the race. Uh, talk us through what happened. Um, I was good until I hit the second set of pillars. and. It Back to you, Bob. We were just talking, and I realized I should have been rolling the whole time. But we were talking about the well, best part of the Twitch Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, you go ahead. I think it's it's literally meeting people that you make friends with online, and actually meeting them in person, and being able to like see them, and really getting to know them personally. Absolutely. That's my favorite part. Good morning. Holy cow. Okay, good morning. I'll talk about what I was gonna say in a second, but I just walked by and saw these guys. These amazing cosplayers. Check these guys out. Wow. You're gonna go after him. Wow. So I just met Colin again. He's the guy, one of the guys behind the Twitch Research Power Group. We first met up a couple years ago. He did a meetup and uh, yeah, just super cool guy, so it was nice to get right into him again. So last year they had a they had a big uh, arena for video games, um, and this year's so different. I've, I've come across the street and into this big theater, um, and here's this, this year's where they have all the challenges going on. You got the guy in the parachute coming down, because it's totally unrealistic because the person in the parachute already has a backpack and a helmet. Um, so that's obviously completely unrealistic. But yeah, there's a game of PUBG going on right now. So yeah, that's about it really. It's cool though, I haven't been over all weekend so I thought I would come check it out. So I just had an amazing dinner with uh, folks from the web around, but I was very thankful to that, uh, to, to the web around folks, to Linda and, and uh, Jesse and all those guys. So they're all super awesome. And uh, met the guys from Bearded Guys Gaming. They're really cool. And met a bunch of other streamers there. It's actually a good time. Super big shout out to the Web Around people. Like I just, I bought one last year, but using it ever since. It is fantastic. And uh, that's about it, really. If you're looking for a green screen, check them out. Link in the description. <laughs> it is Sunday, uh, the last day of TwitchCon, and I'm tired. Have a chance to meet uh, Tom Robertson today, who is the senior director of product at Twitch. That's exciting. So we'll see if that actually pans out. I know he's a super busy guy, so we'll see if it actually works. So that was really cool. I just spent a bunch of time with uh, Tom Robertson. Um, super, super nice guy, and it was super awesome to have him take his time. He's been super busy, so it was super cool to have that he took the time to hang out with me a little bit. And we just talked about Twitch as a platform and the cool things about TwitchCon and stuff. Really, really cool guy. Thank you, Tom. The line for the BitNado over there is kind of short, so I might do, do the BitNado and just get some free bits. Because why not?
did better than I thought I was going to do in the Bitnado. You had to get um, the highest tier, was to, you had to get 31 to get 1,000 bits, and I got 39, so I, I was shocked. Now I am just walking the floor, and I, oh, and I wipe all the slobber off my camera. Well, that's the end of TwitchCon. Yeah, it's definitely sad. Actually, I had a really, really special moment. Um, Brendan Green, the guy who, who guy who made PUBG and who kind of kicked off the whole Battle Royale thing, uh, as a phenomenon it is, he was here. I didn't realize he was going to be here, and he was speaking at the year, year in review. And uh, as I was standing at the standing around the end, he walked by, and so I was able to stop him and talk to him and actually show him my video of my first chicken dinner. So that was, uh, that was a pretty special moment to be able to say to him, like, thank you. So I just had a conversation with a really cool, uh, really cool people. Uh, one of them actually went to school, he used to go to university in San Jose, and he recommended I go eat at a certain place. So I'm going to walk down the street and grab a bite from a place that apparently has amazing food. Found the place, I've got my burrito and my orange sauce, which apparently is amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to the hotel and eat it and then try and get through some more of my instant pictures. Well, that was an adventure. It took me longer to get through the check-in line than it took me to get to the airport. If the security lines aren't very long, I'm going to be sitting around for a while, but yeah, hey, you know what, not going to complain. Now they're feeling it. to Seattle. I'm uh, falling, falling asleep on the plane. It was cool. I met somebody who works for Wizards of the Coast, and so she explained Magic the Gathering to me. So, sounds interesting enough. Might have to check that out at some point. I met a whole bunch of other people, too, in the airport. That's always cool. Uh, and now I'm just in the subway waiting for my train to the terminal I need to go to uh, for my flight to Vancouver. It is 10 past 8 in the evening. I've been sitting around for hours now. Still have an hour and a half or so basically until we board. But yeah, I figure I should get up and walk around so I'm not sitting there for hours on end. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm heading home. Finally. Well, thus endeth the trip. I'm back in Prince George. It's 11 o'clock or something. I will say it was a fantastic trip. Met a lot of amazing people and got to hang out with a lot of amazing people. But yeah, now I need to try and find the car. Should be around somewhere, hopefully. So until next time... Uh, oh, there's the car. Okay, I'm leaving now. Say hi to your folks for me, I love you all. Okay, bye. Adventuring with Paul. It's time for an adventure, let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul. Ha, ha, ha.